Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here for another tutorial. Today I will be showing how to permanently disable Windows Defender in Windows 10. Windows Defender has been around for a while and ever since Windows 8 it has basically become a rebranded version of Microsoft Security Essentials and a lot of people don't, don't want to have it running in their background just like the predecessor or the original Windows Defender which was primarily an anti spyware program. If you actually go into the system settings and you go under update and security and then underneath the Windows Defender tab and you disable real-time protection it's really not going to permanently disable Windows Defender because if you read into it a little bit it says you can turn this off temporarily but if it's off for a while we'll turn it back on automatically and I don't know about you guys but if I disable Windows Defender I would want to keep it disabled as long as I would deem necessary. So I have found a registry key online. I found it shared on a 10 forum so I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. But basically what this will allow us to do is permanently disable Windows Defender in Windows 10. And now it's important you have to have an administrative account when you're running this registry entry in order for it to work properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this registry key here. We're going to click on run. We're going to click on yes again. Now we're basically being prompted to see if we want to add this entry to the registry. We're going to click on yes. So this key has been successfully added. So if we actually go back into the control panel here, or what is now the rebranded um, update and security tab, Go under Windows Defender, we see all this has been grayed out, meaning we do not have to worry about Windows Defender coming back on again. So that should be the least of our problems. And if we actually type in Windows Defender and we click on that, what we see is that it was turned off by group policy. So th there you go, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you out, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.